Okay, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Elizabeth and I share my personal style, my love for easy beauty. And this is my first video in 2022, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I love fashion, I love experimenting with fashion, and I thought it would be fun to share how I would wear 2022 fashion trends. I've seen so many of my favorite content creators share their 2022 trend predictions, what they think is gonna be trending, and they're definitely on par, definitely trends that I think will be trending and fun to experiment with. I just love experimenting, I love trying new things, and I thought it would be fun to style 2022 fashion trends right now. I'm feeling very inspired. I'm just gonna be using pieces that I already have, and I'll definitely try to find some links to them for you guys. But yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to share some of my top faves what I have at the moment. So if you are back and already a subscriber, you see I have a new background. I moved and this is my closet. It's insane and I'm so excited to be able to film videos in here. So yeah, that is what this video is about. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into it. So the first trend that I want to experiment and talk to you guys about are low rise pants. I am petite, I'm 5'1", I'm curvy, never could ever wear low rise pants, being Latina with the booty. They just weren't flattering and definitely weren't made for my body type growing up. But I actually have two pairs of low rise pants that I really, really love. I have a pair of trousers that I thrifted. They're actually from Ann Taylor and they are so 90s, just like 2000s, cool girl vibe, a great color. I actually thrifted them a while back. I think for like my Bella Hadid style video or just a thrifting video in general. Here are the Ann Taylor pants. Love this color. It is like a brown pinstripe with a uh, khaki gray pinstripe, really, really cool pant, and Taylor, size six. They fit me so perfectly. So this is a fun pant. Thrifting is definitely the way to go. And I actually have a pair of low rise jeans that I almost donated because I just haven't worn them. So I wanted to style them, show you guys how I would style these two pieces. Something dressy and something casual, but not dressy, just something I would wear on a date night and I'm thinking this Skims bodysuit, which I just got with some heels. I'm feeling these Amina Mwadi mules, which I love. I just got these for Christmas. I originally bought these orange PVC ones and couldn't recommend the Lupita Hill more. For PVC, a PVC heel, which are kind of uncomfortable, make your feet sweat, these don't make your feet sweat, they don't smell, they're comfortable, didn't get any blisters. So I decided to invest in a classic pair, which is kind of a little backwards, but anyways. Okay, so this is something I would style a little bit dressy, maybe with a coat, especially because it's winter. Um, again, styling these trends, how I would rock them right now. So this is a cute vibe in my opinion. And then to go with something a bit more casual, another Skims piece. I love Skims, you guys. Highly recommend, I have videos reviewing Skims, but I started to invest more in the everyday pieces. So I would definitely pair these pants with the baby tee, which I really, really love. And probably my New Balance sneakers. So let's put these looks on and let, let me know what you guys think. All right, so here's the fit. This is what I would rock on a little date night, maybe something business profesh, but I really like it. I will throw on a coat so you can kind of see what it looks like, but these are the pants. As you can see, they're not insanely low, but they do hit at my like hip area. They're definitely very flattering. I'm wearing the Lupita heels right with this cute YSL bag. And let me show you guys what it looks like with the coat. All right, so just threw on this faux leather shirt, which I think looks really nice. It definitely polishes up a little bit more. I would even rock a faux leather trench, which I have. I have one that's my absolute favorite. I think that would look really cool, but this just look polished and chic. And yeah, let me show you a casual way to rock these trousers. All right, so swapped out the bodysuit for the Skims tee. You can see my belly buttons hanging out. This whole midriff crop top vibe is a vibe. This is the casual way I'd wear it. My New Balances kept the YSL bag and just super easy and comfortable and chic. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like with a jacket. 
All right, and this is the coat I threw on. Another thrifted piece that I got. I absolutely love it. It's very Balenciaga, and I think it looks really cool with these trousers. And now that I'm rocking this coat, that is another trend that I saw, really oversized coats. I love oversized blazers, that's my go-to, but now a really sleek, chic, smart coat. This is a men's coat, so definitely check out the men's department and thrift that or go up a couple sizes in women's and yeah these oversized coats just look so cool and let me show you another way i'd rock this so you can definitely rock this with the lupita hills like i did or some cool jeans let me try those on for you guys all right so here are the low-rise jeans these are levi's low-rise bootcut jeans so maybe you guys can peep etsy or depop for this style as you can see, they are low rise, but they fit right. I actually went up a size and had them tailored because they were the only ones uh, at the thrift store. Well, this is a really cool turtleneck from Riona. Um, but as you can see, we're in two different shoes because I think these boots look dope with it. Also my New Balance sneakers. And then I'm gonna pop on a coat just to polish it up, especially because it is cold right now in California. And I think it just looks way chic with the coat. All right, so this is the look. I'm really feeling it with the boots, but if you want just a cool sneaker, I think the New Balance looks really chic, and I just love this oversized coat. I think it looks really cool with low-rise jeans because if you're not used to this, you feel a little bit more covered. Like, it's on trend. I think it's a fun way to experiment with it, wear a cool oversized coat, definitely embrace the crop midriff vibe. I mean, that's what I'm doing, but yeah, I think the boot looks great. The sneaker looks great. So yeah, this is how I would style low-rise pants, a chic version with the trouser, a denim version, just make it casual and cool. And I'm gonna show you guys another look with the oversized coats. Again, you can thrift these, but something that's gonna be cute, polished, maybe even a date night vibe. All right, so the next piece I wanna talk about are cat suits. And I don't have one that it's in line with it being a fun night out dressy look, but I am going to style this cat suit that I picked up off Amazon. It is a yoga workout cat suit, yoga one piece, but I actually picked it up back in September, fall, when I was sharing my fall trends video and I ordered from Amazon. I did an Amazon haul because I saw cat suits were trending then and they're still coming through. So I wanna show you guys how I would dress this baby up. Throw on some sunglasses so you could really get a feel for this whole fit. Uh, these are actually from Ghani, they're by Ghani. My first Ghani piece are a pair of sunglasses. Oh no, I lied. I actually have the rain boots, but this was the third piece I bought and I love, love, love them. They're so flattering. They're sustainably made, really cool concept. They're actually um, compostable. Crazy, uh, but yeah, let me show you guys this fit. This fit definitely inspires me to really embrace a cat suit, but I have these pieces so I can still achieve the look with the legging and the turtleneck, but maybe something for a night out, something a little bit more dressy, but I really love how this looks with the oversized coat. I love my snakeskin boots and I went with my Balenciaga. Definitely am intrigued to experiment with cat suits after styling this look. But yeah, this is how I would rock a cat suit at the moment right now as we're in January winter month. Um, but I think they'll definitely be fun to rock out and about. All right, you guys, I'm losing light. So I'm gonna show you the next couple trends that I think are gonna be trending that I'm already embracing, that I already love, that I think would be fun to show you how I would style. This is the closest thing I have right now which is from Zara. It has these really beautiful crystals on it. And I'm just gonna show you how I would style them. I'm gonna pair it with this turtleneck, some boots, and the oversized coat. So if mini skirts make you nervous, the whole idea of it, definitely wear an oversized coat. It's such an easy way to get comfortable. You can even rock an oversized denim jacket. I have a couple that I absolutely love. When it gets warmer, like the springtime, a fun way to rock it but a white oversized shirt, that's another trend, and you can just rock it just to cover your bum a little bit if you are a little bit more nervous to rock a mini skirt, you know? Sometimes not all of us are comfortable with these things, but there are definitely ways around it if you wanna experiment, try new things, but definitely wear an oversized shirt, an oversized jacket. I definitely think it'll be a great way to kind of cover up, but yeah, embrace a trend comfortably. And then the last trend that I love, that I rock, 
are colorful bags, bright, colorful bags. This is a fun Balenciaga one that I scored off the real real. I love secondhand designer bags. If you guys wanna see my designer bag collection, I'll link it above. I should do an update, but I have some new ones since then, like this one, which has a strap, love it, bright colors. I'm sure you've seen Bottega Veneta with the green Jody bag, just really bright, beautiful colors. I mean, this is Bottega too. This is the mini pouch or the small pouch, not the mini, the small, which I love, love, love. I got this one off Fashion File. I love Fashion File as well. And it was a great price. It was really interesting color, burgundy but I love it, it matches my new balances, so I pair these together, which I'll show you guys in a look I have in mind. But bright color bags, I think they're gonna be popping and fun and experiment. I know sometimes a lot of us are afraid to try a colorful bag, purchase one or invest in one, but they go with a lot. They're really, really cool in my opinion, so I'm all about it. I definitely want to branch out a little bit, I guess, I'm more into red tone bags because I have orange, I have burgundy and I have pink. And then I have like a couple blue and the rest are tan and black. So I want to venture into a green one. I saw Prada had a really cute one and maybe getting the Bottega Veneta Jody bag in green. I don't wear a lot of green though, so it'll definitely be risky, but I think that's the whole point and it's so fun. All right, I had to turn the light on because <laughs> sun is setting and it's getting darker. But rather than the oversized coat that I showed you guys, I went with this oversized leather jacket and I saw that they are coming back. Alexander McQueen, Balenciaga had just oversized moto jackets. I've been wearing this one for years. It's from Urban Outfitters and I just thought it looks so cool paired with the mini skirt, wearing the turtleneck and then these fun nasty gal, we'll take a Veneta knockoff boots. But yeah, fun way, again, to wear a mini skirt, oversized jacket, you can rock an oversized blazer. But yeah, love this. All right, and here's the last look, rocking a colorful bag. This is definitely a lot more muted and definitely not bright, but it is a unique color. So I hope it still inspires you guys to bring out some color. I'm definitely wearing an outfit that's super neutral. This top is from Zara. These pants are new from Prism Boutique. They're Rolla's jeans, really high-waisted. Love this style. It's like a very 70s cut for my body type. And I didn't tailor them or anything, so I went with like a chunky boot. And I think it looks really, really cool. So I hope this inspires you to embrace color, add it in fun ways. I think this outfit looks so chic. And then the color just makes the top stand out a lot, in my opinion. And I just love, love, love it. So I can't wait to experiment with more color with my bags this year. I hope this video inspires you. Let me know if I should do a part two because I noticed I have some platforms here that I did in style that I wanna show you guys. And then the other trend was like a risque trend. Let me know, give it a thumbs up, comment below. I will film that because I love these platforms. I'll show you guys. Let me know if you guys wanna see how I style them. They're very reminiscent to the Valentinos that are popular. Obviously they're an open toe, as well as the Versaces that are insane and beautiful. There's so many cool knockoffs out there of them, but they're so my shoes are so similar. So I think it'd be fun to show you guys how to style them. So yeah, that is it, you guys. I hope you like this video. Again, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more style videos, review videos, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.